looking at here is a twin mirror image 88 millimeter LS motor with twin water to air intercoolers. These intercoolers we made to fit inside behind the headlights. You never believe what it actually does all fit in the car. We've went ahead and black anodized everything. We've got our billet alien intake. Got some billet valve covers. You can see the just the, the craftsmanship of the stainless headers. We've added this real nice gusset into the wastegate flange. Going into our turbo, we've done like a real tight air inlet to go fit into in the car. It blows right into the top of the intercooler, which is cooled through water. And it travels into our new anteater snout, which has got a five inch oval for the high horsepower applications. Tall deck RHS block. This motor is all aluminum. Just get a view of just the craftsmanship in this thing. It really is, uh, there's a lot of it. And that's what you're getting when you get one of our packages is just craftsmanship. If you look right here, we've got both the fuel regulators mounted, all hidden. So all the feeds and returns are in the back of the motor. It's all plumbed and boost referenced like you see. So here's the whole wiring harness, just plumbed right out of the back of the mouth. This, has, this controls 16 injectors. This has the map sensor, the air temperature sensor, the throttle position sensor. All of that is all included in this one quick disconnect right here for, for the engine itself. As you can see, we've got some really nice stainless turbo headers. We've got them on a V-band. Some really nice tile wastegates that plumb back into the three and a half inch exhaust. There's a shot of the turbo just bam right into the intercooler and out. There's a Tech 3R electromotive fuel management system. This controls all 16 injectors, everything. I really like these systems and we've done some nice things with the harness where we've added you know, ray chem for all the sleeving. We've got, you know, some stabilizers for uh, the, the wire harness itself. Look at the view of this beauty, man. This thing is just, I mean, it's stunning. It's got that hardcore industrial look and well, it's totally something that's, we designed this as a street driven engine. Cam's only in the mid 230s at 50, very mellow spring package. Just a beautiful setup. It just came out stellar and for those of you that actually don't believe it, this actually all fits in an HQ Monero. We built it in the car first, so it all fits even though it probably doesn't look like it.
down to the throttle bracket. We've even got detail on the throttle bracket. We made the linkage from stainless. It's all CNC machined, has an idle stop, a full throttle stop. There's just so much detail that goes into one of these motors. You really almost don't realize, you know, how much work is in one of these engines. But when it all comes together like this, it makes it worthwhile just because it's, I don't know, it's just stunning. This is going to be one seriously bitchin' street car. It's kind of a cool look right there. Turbo wastegate intercooler. Bam! That is a package right there. Got these huge K&N filters that we're running here. Look at that. That is 10 pounds of in a one pound bag. That is some serious plumbing going on there. From the stainless headers, to the stainless hard lines, out to the intercoolers, to the air cleaner tubes. This motor is handcrafted, basically, is I guess what I could say. We've designed all the intake from billet and everything else, but I mean, it's taking craftsmen to make these headers. It's craftsmen for this in intercooler pipes, and it's just, I'm just really happy with the way it came out. of the uh, of the motor that you know normally I don't explain so I wanted to show you a couple things what we've been doing lately is we've been doing water to air intercoolers and we've been putting them outside by the headlights that way it doesn't obstruct the radiator so it looks like it's really wide and it doesn't fit in the car but these actually fit right behind the headlights and they're actually water to air cores so I'll show you what the core looks like so this is just this is not and the man, the deal right there, the whole, my whole body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is not the exact core, but it's something similar. So basically, the inner, the hot air coming out of the turbocharger is going to go into this plenum, like as if you you were to say right here, right? So it goes into this plenum, and then it gets forced through all these fins right here. These fins cool that hot air down, and then they exit in this lower plenum, where the lower plenum ends up running into the throttle body. And then these fins are cooled through these water cores right here. So we build uh, water boxes so water ends up running through the intercooler and cooling it down. So you have hot air going through and then you have water cooling that hot air. So that's basically your water to air core that I really haven't explained uh, in these videos. Another thing that I wanted to show you guys is that you know, you got a motor making, you know, 2,000 horse under 30 pounds of boost pressure. It's got an extreme amount of load inside. So this is what what we would call the billet upper plenum darning net eater. But if you look at it on the inside, it's all internally trussed. Now we actually went through three renditions of these trussings to get it to where the manifold doesn't flex. Uh, we used to do a lot of, uh, you know, Actually, we built these originally with no trusses, and it actually looks like a lung when you're when you're running it. So um, you get to see some of the engineering behind uh, the product here. It's just the motors that we're doing these days are just getting nicer and nicer, and this is this is definitely a nice one nice sucker. Okay, so I kind of going to give you a little brief. I'm sure some of you out there are wondering what all this stuff is because it always looks like a science project. So you've got your four exhaust pipes, they collect into what we call a four into one collector. And from there, they go into this transition piece which shoots into the turbo. The turbo builds up pressure. The XX pressure is uh, relieved by what's called a wastegate. This is the wastegate. And this wastegate will relieve the pressure to whatever spring pressure we set 
in this diaphragm and spring section right here. It'll spool the turbo up, which sucks air into the intake. The air comes in, and power wheel spins it up, pressurizes it, runs through this intercooler, which this intercooler is, is what's called an air to water. So that goes into this plenum area and it shoots down these condensed fins and it takes the heat out of the air because the turbocharger creates a lot of heat. And then the cool air exits out of the intercooler into the intake plumbing into the motor. Now to take the heat away from the intercooler, we went ahead and made these water tanks left and right, which are cooled by a, an external radiator separate from the engine radiator. So the radiator ends up cooling the inside of the intercooler so you don't need any air flowing through the intercooler, which is a really neat setup. So the reason why we do this is because it totally unshrouds the radiator and put a really huge radiator in the car and don't have to have a big intercooler in front of it. So we stuff these right behind the headlight. You don't even basically see them other than this portion of it in the engine bay. It looks pretty neat actually. And we'll show you a picture of that, but it's pretty trick. 